Lately I've been working on a western setting. I'm not sure really what system I'm going to use, probably just something hodgepodge together with some friends of mine. But I figured I need a, a map for it all, so I have this like outdoor survival map I made. So I thought I'd use that and uh, kind of reuse it, uh, use some techniques from uh, White Box D&D that's in the Wilderness and I always forget what the other one is, I want to say Wilderness Adventures. <laughs> but it says you use the outdoor survival game board and to treat all of the like various ponds and such as where castles are. So castles in this case will just be like western military forts. So, you know, weren't, weren't very big out in the Wild West. There's only about uh, 1,500 army personnel you know, back in those days, which my game is going to be starting in 1868, roughly. That's like a good era to start. You know, it's right after the Civil War, so you can have characters that were veterans and such, and that can kind of be like a a point of contention with non-PCs and such in the world, of, you know, which side you fought for, so. So I'm putting these military forts and all the various lakes and such that I've already set up. I'm using old wardographers, kind of my like favorite program. Yeah, and these uh, brown dotted lines, these are like trails. And then there's rivers. Railroads, I think I'll probably like set up uh, you know, a little bit later. And if I do, it'll be at the edges of the map. So on the, I haven't placed them yet, but the outdoor survival map has various cabins and such, which uh, according to Gary, you know, that you treat those as like various towns and settlements. So. And it'll be very small out in the west. It's, though it's not too different from normal way you make a D&D setting. Uh, it's really like D&D is a wild west uh, game with the skin of a fantasy world on it. <laughs> as you know, medieval Europe and such, it wasn't ever as like sparsely populated as most D&D campaign settings have you believe, at least the early ones, you know, and the gold's all wonky and everything's all wonky because it makes more sense if you think of it as a Wild West setting with a, a fantasy skin. It just has a very uh, well designed fantasy hat on. <laughs> so a lot of the techniques still apply, I hate it when it does that, I'm going to go I always gotta do a little magic ritual before it works properly, fellas. <laughs> and these different tiles, like uh, these tiles I'm putting this uh, road through or this river through, those are like poor grasslands, and then there's grassy hills and such. Good tiles that are sort of grazing land. Which will become important because. Uh, like I, I'll still have like the concept of players getting homesteads and building up their own settlements if that's what they want to do, taking over military forts or what have you. Hopefully, I can get a lot of players to play this, and I can kind of classic, you know, style like 10, 20 players kind of just using this as a sandbox. Each of these hexes is supposed to represent uh, 24 miles. So then I can break those down into eight hexes, and each of those eight hexes will be three miles, which is a league. I, I really like to use leagues, because that's the distance, you know, a person can walk in an hour, so I use that as like a metric for the, the traveling and such. Because like I said, very similar concepts in Western to D&D. I don't really want to do like supernatural stuff, because there's so many western settings that are all supernatural. I just want to do a traditional kind of wild west setting where 
you can either be an outlaw, a lawman, or a civilian, and the goal of the campaign is to collect $100,000 so you can retire. So you can go about that in all kinds of legal and illegal ways. You can even be extremely boring and just be a shopkeeper if that's what you want to do. Of course, there'll still be like adventure and story that you can make involved in. Maybe old shopkeeper has to go treasure hunting once in a while, you know what I mean? <laughs> So I think it's interesting, like, being out there in the old wilderness and surviving, bron uh, busting some Broncos and wrestling cowl, going and getting in, in all kinds of Western shenanigans. There's all kinds of adventure you can still have, even if there's not magic or dragons or goblins and such. have like uh, the Mississippian culture, which is kind of an offshoot of the Mayans. There's all kinds of mound-like structures from you know, St. Louis, so like Jakia, Illinois. I think I was clear outside right. Correct me if I'm wrong on the comments, fellas. I apologize, but they're like mound builders, uh, city mound builders. Kind of had a lot of like Mayan-like structures and such. And, uh, they're like pretty active from the 13 to 1400s. So, you know, in the concept of Wild West games, like 1868, that's like 400 years later. So that's like maybe something you could include in, in the setting, you know, is like ancient cultures to uncover, and mysteries to explore, even in a Wild West setting. So I think it'll be really fun to add all this kind of cool stuff. So I, I love Westerns. I don't know if you guys see well, Red Dead playthroughs, but that's probably like one of my favorite games to come out. And it's like how you can just live a western life as Arthur Morgan. <laughs> so I kind of like doing that kind of stuff in games, so hopefully other people do too. Oh, my buddy that's helping me, he, he's pretty knowledgeable about that, so he's probably more knowledgeable about certain things in the West than I am. That's just how it is sometimes, you know. No one knows everything. There's always something new to learn, too. I hate that saying that you can't teach an old dog new tricks. I ain't no dog, buddy. <laughs> Man. <laughs> River here. Ugh, I hate it when it does that. I usually never get that feature to work. I got it to work one time. <laughs> I'll see you, fellas. Alright, I guess that's the rest of the video, fellas. If you have any questions, please comment down below. I hope you like my video. If you want to see more of this stuff, please uh, subscribe. I hope you guys. Uh, have a good game next time you play, and keep your shield arm strong, alright?